All right, we've only got six more days until the closing ceremony of the 2024 Olympic Games in Paris. From the opening ceremonies to women's gymnastics, swimming, local athletes. Talk about some of those local ones bringing home gold. It's been an exciting, invigorating, and there's also controversy, which mm -hmm. wouldn't, wouldn't be the Olympics without some controversy, right? All talk about the Olympic Games. That is right. And here to give us her take on the 2024 Olympic game is Pepper Pursley. She's a 13-year-old journalist reporter and podcast. Yes, 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 yes. Woo! Good morning to you. Good to see you. How's it going? Good. Welcome, welcome. We I'm love having you. you. Thank you. We welcome, love having welcome. you here. Start coming over this way a little bit. Okay. Uh, this is, the, let me tell you, you miss it. You miss a minute. You miss a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Absolutely. Let's talk about this. All right. Just by the way, I just want to give a little bit about you. One of the Adweek's most powerful women in sports and the youngest person to call games for the NBA, <laughs> WNBA, and the M MLB. Hello. Yes, yes. That is something. Congratulations. Uh, Thank you. Let's talk about what you've thought about the Olympic Games so far. Amer uh, USA yeah. is doing amazing. Absolutely, yeah. Leading in medal count. Pretty close in gold. Hopefully we'll be there by the end of the Olympics. But I, I love the Olympics. I love watching so many sports that I wouldn't think I would enjoy watching, learning about athletes who have these incredible stories. I think just in general, like as a sports fan or even just as a fan of like inspiring people, like it's really an amazing time every four years. So I love yeah. the Olympics, yeah. And I was going to ask, how long have you had a love for the Olympics and watch it? I mean, <laughs> like, I, I, was, I was born in 2011, so okay. 2012, I don't know if I was really watching. Um, but definitely 2016, I had like my own medal count, like a poster on the wall. Mm -hmm. So I've been kind of into it since then. So three Olympics now, and I love it. Okay. All right, let's talk about some of the stuff that we've seen mm -hmm. play out so far, right? Yeah. And the women's gymnastics cannot begin without talking about them. The Golden Girls winning the all-around finals yes. this yes. weekend, taking home the gold. Simone Biles, Suni Lee, they are competing this morning as well. Yes. Simone Biles having a little bit of a rough start today, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so both Simone and Suni fell on their, not on bars, sorry, <laughs> on beam. Um, yeah, I know. It's sad, but Laura Hernandez, who's been doing some amazing coverage, kind of shared that once one person falls, it's hard to get that out of your head. So we saw a lot of the gymnasts fall, not only the Americans, yeah. but she bounced back, winning silver on floor, and Jordan Childs also winning bronze. So two medals today, even with the unfortunate start. Yeah. And all around, the all around gold, but also all around really impressive from yeah. their entire team. Mm -hmm. Everything they've gone through, especially Simone and Suni with the kidney disease and then Simone with the twisties being back and winning gold in the all-arounds has been incredible. So, awesome to watch. And she's yeah. talked about it a little bit yeah. with the twisties being back too, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Just the overall pressure. I mean, there's yeah. just this pressure of being at the Olympics and I think mm -hmm. everybody's like looking at them like, the, oh my gosh. But yeah. Everybody mess. It's like yeah. you mess yeah. up, you mess up, and they're still winning. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. like people get frustrated when they're like silver or bronze. I'm like, that's second and third right. in the whole world. Yes. Like, exactly. it's still incredible and very impressive, even to be an Olympian. So, exactly. kudos to all of the Olympians, yeah. absolutely. Absolutely. And as we switch just a little bit from women and over to men, mm -hmm. I have to hear your take on Noah Lyles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah what a personality. I yeah. mean, however you feel about him, he proved himself and he won by, I don't know what it was, like a 50, like it's just five tenths of a five second. Five tenths of a second. Yeah, oh, yeah, there you go. Just like sticking his chest out basically. But mm -hmm. there you go, the fastest man in the world. And yeah. he put his money where his mouth is. So yeah. good for him. Yeah, and he, and he talked a lot about, you know, his personal, his mm -hmm. personal uh, business yeah. and whatnot. Another and athlete who's gone through a lot to get to where he is now. And another amazing story that I think can people can take inspiration from as well. Yeah, I thought his, his message after Afterwards was really mm -hmm. powerful. Why saying, not you? Yeah. Why not you? Because he said, I have allergies, I have asthma, I have yeah. dyslexia, mm -hmm. I have ADD, depression, depression. anxiety. Yeah. So why not you to be able mm -hmm. to go ahead and do it? So I thought his message to those who may feel like I can't do something because right. of, uh, 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 of something yeah. was really powerful. Let's talk about the men's gymnastic team winning yeah. bras. Mm -hmm. Steven, uh, how do you say his last Netterizic, name? Netterizic. Netterizic. The, yeah. the pummel horse guy. Yeah. Going oh my God. Viral. Glasses on, yeah. glasses off. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I feel like America loves him now just for that one event, but he won bronze um, in that event final and just kind of a really cool story. People focused a lot on women's gymnastics, one of the women heavy sports, and now people kind of watching men's gymnastics too for the U.S. and their first medal in a really long time. So it's really was, cool. His whole thing was he took his glasses off because mm -hmm. there he is. <laughs> because he said that, you know, they would have fallen off. Yeah. But he, need, he's, he says that he's, he's um, really cross-eyed. So yeah. he's like, I, I, I need them to see, yeah. but not to do the To do, the like, Olympic routine. gymnastics. Yeah, it's crazy, but really impressive and really cool. Everyone, like, loves him now. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. So, someone uh, everyone else loves, Snoop Dogg. Yeah. Mm. He is a face <laughs> that I have seen 
every five minutes. The memes yeah. with him are just... <laughs> I mean, he's really getting around in Paris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. It seems like he's having a lot of fun. All the athletes that he's been meeting seem to be having a lot of fun with him. He just, like, tried out a question. He was in the whole getup, which was really fun to see. Um, so I think he's having a, a lot of fun out there, which is really fun. And a lot of celebrities have been enjoying the Olympics, which is really cool to see that they're just like us sitting on our couches, except they're actually there. Absolutely. He's selling something, too. He's got, like, a Snoop pin. Yeah, the pin trading is a big deal at the Olympics. What so. Is it? Pin, yeah, pin trading. So, oh, like, they have from trading. different countries or, like, their own pins. So, the Snoop Dogg pin definitely is a, a favorite in the Olympic village, it seems like. <laughs> I didn't know yeah. that was a thing. Yeah. Okay. Right oh, there, there it is. There oh, it is. Yeah. Oh. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. The, the ring for the Olympic right. Right. Yeah. Okay. okay. Very Snoop. Snoop. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and, you know, before we wrap up today, let's mm. talk about swimming uh, in the women's yeah. category. Mm. I got to, it was so late, but I, I could not miss it. I stayed yeah. and watched. Yeah. How'd you feel about it? I mean, I felt awesome. The other were the women I feel like kind of carried, but Katie Ledecky obviously uh. just like uh, incredible. I don't know how she does it, especially in those long distance races. And she says she might have another Olympics in her if she still loves the sport. That would be amazing. And then setting a world record, which was incredible. I was able to watch that and it was really yeah. cool to see. Swimming is another thing where I feel like some people are like, I know how to swim, but the level that they do it is just incredible. It's so it's amazing to watch. Yeah, it's unbelievable. So uh, final week. Here we go. Mm -hmm. What are you looking forward to most? I'm looking forward to women's basketball and men's basketball going for gold. And also I'm here in my Sophia Smith jersey, women's soccer. Yeah. Also yeah. hopefully going for gold. And we've got some other sports, beach volleyball, regular volleyball. So definitely a lot to look forward to. A lot more opportunities for gold medal matches for the U.S. and just a lot of compelling athletes to watch. Yeah. Good stuff. Oh my gosh, yes, I love yes. you, Pepper. Thank you. Yeah. You're so knowledgeable. Absolutely. I love it. Good stuff. Come on back at the end of the, end of this week, okay? <laughs> I'd love uh, make to. sure you keep up with Pepper. Follow her at Pepper Parsley on Instagram for all her take on all things sports. Great to have you here this Thank morning. You. Thank, Thank you for having you. me. And coming up on New York Living, everybody, David Correa telling us the hottest movies, TV shows to watch before we say goodbye to summer. Plus, the look at the live adaptation of the classic children's book, Harold and the Purple Crayon. Good.